Hello everyone, this is Anushka Maan and I welcome you back to my channel. First of all, thank you so much for the overwhelming response that I get on my YouTube videos. I cannot describe how happy I feel and how overwhelmed I feel with joy when people approach me, even here, the new juniors who have come up in my college now at SPJMR Mumbai and uh, people who come uh, type their uh, you know, responses in the comment section and they tell me how my videos are really helping them in their CAD preparation and it makes me so, so happy that whatever I share from my own experience or from the different resources I have, it's actually coming to use up for somebody. Thank you so much for all the comments, all the lovely responses you leave on my channel. I regularly go through all the comments you have that you put uh, and I try to make sure that my upcoming content is based as that. And to be honest, like I'm currently pursuing my MBA. I'm in second year. And uh, after a long day of having classes and assignments, I film a video and then I post it. And when you I carve out when you carve out that extra time from your schedule to film videos and then people actually resonate with your content, I just cannot describe that feeling. It feels worth it. And uh, I would love to help you to guide you in your journey in your cat preparation journey as much as I can so today bases uh, a lot of comments a lot of people had been asking for so today I'm going to share some hacks which I used to ensure to boost my scores in the quant section so let's get started so first of all let me share that uh, I did my chemistry honors from Ramjas College University of Delhi and then I directly joined the MBA uh, in the marketing specialization so basically the last I studied mathematics was in class 12th Uske baad, I did not have a maths background I'm not a non-engineer and uh, honestly speaking since childhood one of my biggest fears has been mathematics the thing is it's that that subject for me wo bolte na ki sapne mein bhi, matlab, I'm still sitting in the maths exam and you know really being really scared of it so those are my worst kind of dreams so when I was starting my CAT preparation journey, I was extremely, extremely worried and apprehensive about the quant section. I see a lot of people in the comments who mention that they are non-engineers, they are weak in mathematics, they're scared of mathematics. Will they be able to crack CAT or not? And I totally get it. I totally resonate with you because that's what I was also feeling at that point of time. But trust me, every single year, there are so many people, so many non-engineers so many people who have never had mathematics uh, in their class 11th and 12th and even further who crack cat get 99 plus percentiles and get into the best p schools of the country so if i can do it and if so many other people can do it so can you and it's not just about because they are supremely intelligent or they have a very high iq or something it's mostly about if you're following the right prep strategy and if you are staying consistent with it and if you are doing these two things properly and trust me koi bhi insaan ho wo ek ap, apne aap se strategy bana sakta hai irrespective of their background irrespective of their intelligence wo apne liye ek strategy bana sakta hai aur usko consistently har din follow kar sakta hai so this is something that any person in the world can do and so can you so before you watch this video i want you to take out this fear that if since you are weak in maths scared of maths non engineer etc etc you can't crack cat you can't crack quants I scored 95.44 percentile approximately in the quant section in the CAT 2023 examination with just five months of preparation. And as I told you, I'm scared of maths and I'm a non-engineer. If I can do it, you can do it too. So with that positive mind mindset, I want you to proceed further in this video. So today I'm going to share the quant strategy from two perspectives. First of all, it's about how to prepare what topics to prioritize and how to set and how to go about the different different concepts that are there second thing is going to be about how you attempt questions in the mocks once you have you are uh, done with certain concepts in the syllabus so we are going to look at it from two lens first of all let's talk about the syllabus part so quant syllabus if you look at it in a broader perspective it is very very vast and that is a truth 
if you take the index of any book that you are referring to you will see that there are so many concepts that usko dekh kar hi you feel that okay maybe this is not something i can do in 4 months or 3 months or 2 months but what i want you to do is what i also did was that instead of delving right into the syllabus and just floating around here and there i want you to first of all prioritize the right concepts that you have to focus on right now and then do the other ones so uh, in in the cat examination in general there are five major concepts arithmetic geometry algebra number systems and modern maths ab inke andar bhi there are many many sub topics that are there however you don't have to you know if you are beginning your preparation you don't have to delve deeper into every single concept that is there what i did was i prioritized three major concepts from where the maximum number of cat questions come in the examination that is uh, arithmetic algebra and geometry you can pick up the question papers or previous year questions from uh, question papers from cat 2024 23 22 21 20 and you will see a similar trend that the maximum number of questions more than 50% of the questions come from majorly arithmetic and algebra and then followed by uh, geometry and then number system and modern math so what i did was so in order to make sure that the syllabus doesn't overwhelm me i picked up arithmetic algebra and geometry and then in the uh, in the, on the front page of the notebook in which i was solving the questions and learning the concepts i wrote down every single concept under each topic like under arithmetic there are about 6 topics um time speed distance time and work profit loss a uh, simple interest compound interest uh there is a mixture and allegation average percentage ratio so under the topic arithmetic on the first page i wrote down these six topics then similarly i did for algebra algebra mein you have uh, linear equations quadratic equations functions all these things so you note down the concepts under uh first of all arithmetic and algebra arithmetic and algebra i'm asking you to prioritize first because even though a lot of questions come from geometry as well but geometry is very very vast so if you are to begin your preparation now or if you are like struggling with the quant section i would want you to focus and make arithmetic and uh, algebra make them as perfect as you can so what i used to do was for example every single day i used to study quants in the later part of the day towards the night for for about 3 uh, to 4 hours or maybe 2 to 3 hours depending on my time table so what i did was for example in arithmetic today i have decided to study profit and loss so i used to have a class i used to attend the session understand the concept uh, uh understand the concept and the formula all that is there in the in the in around 1 to 2 hours and then i would solve about 20 questions which would ensure that my concept level clarity of for that topic that is profit and loss is absolutely perfect so basically every single night for arithmetic what i did was take a topic understand the concept well what are the formulae note them down understand the concept how things work and then solve about 20 questions about 20 basic level questions i'm not asking you to j- uh, jump into advanced questions remember this is about making sure that your base is absolutely strong and then you are going to build on it so 20 basic questions and for in just a span of one night or in just a span of one day i was able to cover one concept properly the only thing you have to make sure to do to ensure is that when you cover a particular concept for example today i decided that today i'll study profit and loss i understood the concept attended the lecture from my coaching platform or from a youtube video then i did some questions 20 to 25 questions so next time what i want you to do is that when you attempt the mock make sure that you are able to solve at least the formula based or the concept level based questions regarding that topic in the actual mock if you are not able to do that i want you to sit down and analyze that was i not able to solve because i did not un- understand the concept properly or is it because i got too overwhelmed with the pressure and the time constraint or did i take too much time or was i not able to identify the simple question the formula based question in the actual mock 
so the thing is that if you look at the mock and you try to analyze that you will see that uh, there are three sets three levels of questions for every single concept easy medium and difficult when you solve a particular concept or if when you are done with the conceptual uh, with the concepts of say all the topics of uh, quants for example if you assume you take a month or month and a half you are able to at least uh, you know cover all the basic concepts of the quant section so you should be able to solve seven to eight questions in the mocks properly and very very easily because about seven to eight questions are pure purely based on formulae or purely based on the concept they don't have added complexities or they are not advanced level questions and if you're not able to do that then you have to analyze that what is the reason is it time constraint is it because your your understanding of the concept is not proper or is it something else so you have to or is it because that you are not able to identify that this was an easy question and uh, you just skipped it or you were not able to recognize it in the question paper so every time that you do the mocks i want you to if you find any such problem i want you to circle it and write it down in your register because then the next time when you prepare yourself for the mocks or you give the next mocks it will be very clear in your head and you'll not repeat the same mistake again so we talked about how you can cover one concept a day for example if there are six topics in arithmetic so very very easily you will be able to cover the entire portion of arithmetic the basic level a portion of arithmetic in just a week and the only thing you have to do is you have to plan your day or plan the quants uh, study time in such a manner that you cover the concept solve the basic level questions and ensure that your concept clarity is absolutely spot on and then you test that concept clarity when you give a mock on the particular weekend for example on monday you did profit and loss on tuesday you did another topic of arithmetic wednesday thursday friday saturday and then on sunday you give a mock and then analyze or you can also do a sexual mock by the way and then uh, from that analyze that whether or not you were able to identify the simple questions whether or not you were able to solve the questions of the topics that you have just studied or studied this week agar wo advanced level questions the mock mein from those concepts to well and uh, to if you are not able to solve it it's fine but if you are not able to solve the basic level questions go back again to the concepts and revise them properly so one more mistake that a lot of aspirants do and get confused in is that they are covering the syllabus they are understanding the concepts but when they look back or when they are trying to give a mock say on a weekend on a sunday they realize that whatever they have studied in the week they have forgotten that and the notes are very vast and they are not able to revise every single thing again and again and trust me as the time proceeds the pressure on your head the amount of syllabus you have covered in your notes is going to increase more and more and you need something quick and fast and easy to revise the all the concepts that are there so for that i had made this formula notebook which i have shared uh, with you previously also in my video so in that formula notebook i had divided into different different sections according to the concepts of uh, according to the concepts for example in the arithmetic section i on the first few pages i had noted down every single formula related to profit and loss admixture uh, allegation time speed distance etc etc properly and neatly and then if there were certain trick questions or certain questions which uh, you found out maybe during your mock that isko aise nahi aise solve kar sakte hain so i noted down uh, those uh, little questions also in this particular formula notebook so the thing was that every time when i was giving a mock an hour or two before i would go through skim through this formula notebook and also through those trick questions so it made sure that i was at least able to solve the basic level questions and when you keep doing this exercise again and again the formulas they get embedded in your head and you don't have to muck them up because trust me aap in sabko rat nahi sakte in sare formulae ko because there are so many of them agar 100 formulae you can't you know learn them in one day you need to look at them every single day so that they get embedded in your head mocks mein one more thing that i used to follow was i remember that in uh, in in the quant section there are about 20 to 22 questions out of that as i just mentioned 7 to 8 questions are just conceptual based just based on uh, you know basic level formulae or concept understanding 
so no matter what kind of mock you are giving if you have covered the basics of the concepts at least once and you have done the basic level questions and you feel that ha chalo ek bar mera syllabus done ho gaya hai mujhe samajh aa gaya hai ki concept kya hai what is the concept maybe you haven't solved the advanced questions yet but you know the basics of every single concept so you should be able to solve 7 to 8 questions in the mocks very very easily if you are not able to do so i want you to not be disheartened please i want you to sit down with that mock and analyze the reason for not being able to solve that question was it because you did not understand the question uh, concept or is it because uh, you need some extra revision ya fir formula bhool gaye or is it because you were not able to identify that question ki ye easy question hai and you could have done it pretty pretty simply also one thing that when you are giving the mocks in the quant section especially and uh, you are solving a particular question if that question uh is taking more than 2 to 3 minutes leave it then and there and move on to the next question this is a mistake that i i used to do consistently in a lot of mocks and it you know costed me time and also the opportunity to actually devote my time and my patience and concentration on some other simpler questions so if a question is taking uh, more than 2 or 2.5 minutes leave that question then and there and move on to the next question do not spend more than 2 to 2.5 minutes on any question in any mock third thing that i would advise people to do it's up to you the thing is that cat is a lot about speed so and the calculators as i've also mentioned previously the calculators in the you know cat exam so on the in the when you give your cat exam you have an on screen calculator and it is so slow it is so slow and it is recommended highly recommended that you do not rely on that calculator rather rely on improving your calculation speed and ca for calculation speed there are four things four exercises that i did which really helped me fasten my calculation speed so that i did not spend more than few seconds on the basic level calculations and for that i took four sheets of paper and uh, on one i had written the square roots from 1 to 20 on another i wrote the squares from 1 to 30 cubes from 1 to 30 and on the fourth one i made a fraction to percentage chart and i want you to stick these four a4 size sheets near your study table or wherever you are studying and every time you are there around those sheets i want you to look at them at least once a day so that you know the basic level squares or cubes they get embedded in your head because trust me if for example you have to find out the square of 24 it's there somewhere in the calculation and you sit down to solve it manually you're going to lose on about 10 seconds so if you lose 10 seconds those 10 seconds you could have spent in you know at least reading some other questions or maybe spending that those 10 seconds in some other question in the understanding that question or maybe solving it better up 10 seconds bahut chhota number lag raha hai but when you look at cat exam it just 40 minutes per section and which boils down to around 2 minutes per question agar aap har question attempt karte ho which is not the case it's a matter of time it's a matter of seconds also so i want you to save your time whenever you can so that you can devote that time in understanding and solving the other questions rather than you know spending it in doing the basic level calculations jo aap uh, time and time ke sath aap yaad kar sakte the squares cubes square roots and fraction to percentage table this is going to help you not just in your quant section but also it is also going to be a major major help in even in the di section in the dlr part so that's it for this video these were some tips and tricks that i went skim through my notes and all those things and i found out these tips and tricks that i personally used and then i was able to boost my scores and be able to score 95 plus percentile in the cat 23 examination in the quant section overall i got a 99 percentile in quants it was 95.44 percentile and that too being a non engineer and a person who has been scared of maths since childhood so these were some hacks that can help you as well if you follow them diligently If you have any other with if you have any other topics that you want me to make a video on please comment them down below I'll try to make a video on them and help you in your cat preparation journey so see you in the next video bye bye